What's up? I know, right? Long time no see. You miss me? Mwah, mwah. This isn't gonna be like a full blog. Uh, this is gonna be like a little update. I'm not gonna have a uh, movie review. I'm gonna have a CD review though. Only because I really like this album. But, uh, we'll get to that in a second. Catch up to speed. Mm, still got kidney stones. That sucks. What else? My girlfriend had her gallbladder taken out like a week ago. Crazy, right? Doll stones, kidney stones, house full of stoners. Uh, still moving. That's, you know, a given. Houses were sold, like I said last time. So, I mean, it's not like they're like, yeah, you know what? Change your mind. I mean, they could do that, but I doubt they're going to. Our deadline is actually in like a week and a half to uh, be out of here. On the plus side, we found a house. We did find a house. We uh, went and turned our applications and the deposit in. Um, the downside, the house isn't gonna be ready for us to move into until the 11th. And we have to be out of here by the 1st. Um, so that's kind of crappy. Uh, you know, we'll figure it out. I mean, it's not like the end of the world or anything like that. Halloween's coming up. Awesome. I kind of I kinda dig Halloween for two different reasons, actually. Uh, Halloween, I mean, that's just, you know, it's my favorite time of year. Everybody gets to dress up as, like, ghouls and goblins and get all the little goodies and whatnot, so, you know, 3Gs. Um, the other part about it is it is actually my girlfriend's birthday. That's right. She was born on Halloween. She's a, she's a little ghoul baby. So we get to celebrate her birthday on Halloween and uh, her sister usually throws for a uh, Halloween slash birthday party and we invite like a whole shit ton of people. You get to see quite a few cool costumes and see people get drunk and whatnot. I don't personally drink anymore, but uh, last year um, I got to watch people drink and actually the past couple of years I got to watch people drink. I think it's been going on, I think four years since I've drank. And I, the past few years of just watching people drink, I've actually been entertained instead of being an ass. So that's why I don't drink, because apparently I, I've turned into a violent drunk somehow. But uh, watching people get drunk is fucking entertaining as hell. Man, you get to see people just like start hugging on each other, like, man, I love you, man. You're my favorite. Um, the filling up part kind of sucks. I remember there was one year that my girlfriend's sister threw, actually I think it was uh, the first really, really big party we threw, or it was the second one. I want to say it was the first. Yeah, it was the first. A friend of mine who uh, shall remain nameless uh, for this part, uh, he ended up throwing up, like hardcore throwing up outside or on the back of the garage. And we actually didn't find the throw up until like, I think the following year when we were set up for the party. Uh, my girlfriend's sister went back there and she comes around she's like, oh my god, there's throw up from last year still back there. You'd figure the rain would have got to it, but it, it was still there, it was sick. It was mostly red, he drank like a lot of red uh, alcoholic beverages. Yeah, super excited about Halloween coming up, uh, about the party and everything. Um, I'm going to try to be Fred Flintstone. She's going to try to be Wilma, and our baby's, going to, of course, going to try to be Pebbles. But we'll see how it all turns out, you know, with the whole moving and packing and all this shit kind of sprung up on us. Like, really, really kind of threw a wrench in a lot of our plans. So, our landlord sucks for that. Let's see what else is going on. Work. Work's still the same. Um, still first shift lead there. Um, it's exciting. Recently been told I'm actually making a difference than uh, the last person who was lead, so that's that's a plus. Kind of boost your ego a little bit. Actually, funny story about work yesterday. I want I want to talk about this real quick because I, I kind of got pissed off. Um, I have to wear a walkie-talkie and headset all day long, so I'm I'm constantly like hearing management in my ear and people just like bitching about the stupidest shit, right? Well, like a month ago, a certain manager cracked on another manager, made a joke and everything like that, and everybody laughed, good time, ha <laughs> Well, yesterday, a customer came in, and the uh, door person 
got on the walkie-talkie and said, I need a manager to the front. We've got a customer with a gun. Holy shit. Right? Wrong. Then she got on. You can hear the customer in the background, like, laughing and, like, saying, return, return. They correct themselves and said, a gun to return. And I got on the walkie-talkie right away. I was like, you know, that's not something you space out. And the person got on, I was like, what? And they kind of laughed, you know, because they knew I was joking around with them. I was like, you don't space that kind of shit out, you know. You, you don't say, hey, a customer's in with a wall, or, sorry, a customer's in with a gun for a return. You straight say, hey, a customer has a gun to return. Well, anyway, I said this, and that same manager that made a joke last month got on there and said, and started, like, pretty much bitching me out a little bit, saying, let's keep the line on the walkie-talkie professional or whatever, and it's like, really? And then, like, an hour later, she made a joke on another manager. It's like, come on, chick. Stop being such a hypocrite. Anyway, um, so that's pretty much up to speed with everything going on with the... We're still moving. We found a house. Awesome. Um, timing kind of sucks, but we'll figure it out. Uh, girlfriend had her gallbladder removed. She's doing lots better. I've got kidney stones not doing so much better. Kind of worried they're going to have to cut those out again. I've had it happen before. Um, work still work. I go there. I get paid. I come home. Um, customers uh, return guns, apparently. Actually, no, they don't because we don't do gun returns, apparently. Found that out on the walkie, too. Well, let's go ahead and jump in the CD review. Boom. <sighs> this week's CD review uh, is on Tools Anima. I think I'm pronouncing it right. It's like Anima or Anima. I'm pretty sure it's not Anima. I think it's Anima. One of my favorite songs, uh, Eulogy. Really, really good song. Um, it's actually, I think, the longest song on the CD. It's like eight minutes. It's almost nine minutes, I think. Um, Push It's really good. Um, I know a lot of people are probably like, Push It's Static X. Well, they have a song called Push It too. so ha. Um, Anima, the song that the album's actually named after, is a really awesome song. It's got a great, great video for it. Um, Lots of water involved. Uh, pretty much talking about like, like how you just said, some say the end is near. It's talking about Armageddon pretty much and how uh, the world's pretty much fucked because we're full of a bunch of ignorant ass motherfuckers. Uh, people are gonna die from drowning because, oops, because they spend most of their time on their cell phones and their city life and shit instead of learning how to survive and whatnot. Um, and actually, I'm cheating real quick, and I'm looking at my iPod. I lied. Uh, Yolji is not the longest song. The longest song on here is called Third Eye. It's 13 minutes and 47 seconds. Uh, but it's also another really good song. Uh, So, that's it for my CD review for this week. Um, I will try to get another uh, blog up next weekend. Um, actually, I'm hoping I'll get one up next weekend, because next weekend is the Halloween party. So, hopefully I'll have footage from that. We get to see some people's costumes and whatnot. Last year we had zombies and shit show up. Maybe we'll have some more zombies. Uh, yeah, I know. She don't sleep. some parts with not his face so he didn't want nobody to know who he was. <laughs> Record his face for like five minutes.
when you come into the picture, it makes it go white, and then it has to refocus. Yeah. Weird. Hey, they do shit like that to do yeah, tattoos no, still. Sometimes, like, even on Miami Heat and LA Heat, when they get close up and you're watching them sit, like, almost all that shit, and you're like, oh my god, that's why mine always have to go over a bunch of times. They're like, they're gonna go over 